Uh, I always start off this song by saying um, Muddy Waters left uh, Mississippi in 1943, headed to Chicago, and the rest is history. Uh, uh, I do uh, a fair amount of blues, but the songs I'm going to do tonight are uh, they're older songs. A lot of my originals are older, so uh, they tend to get into more singer-songwriter stuff. Um, they're not all bluesy. I'd say about half. Um, but I wrote this song that, uh, and I read Muddy Waters' biography, and um, I just wrote this song to kind of kind of wondered what that train ride might have been like. This train, this song is called Train to Chicago.
Run to Chicago. Thank you. Thank you. That's good. I like it when there's applause that lasts longer than two seconds. I like that. Because every time I play somewhere, it's like the applause is like, all right, what else, what else you got? And I'm, and I'm tuning or I'm trying to do something, you know, I'm putting a capo on. I'm like, hold on. It, it, it. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Uh, let's see. This is a song about um, a band I was once in and tried to do the alt country thing in a band called the 40 Watt Rodeo. Played on Thursday nights down in Cincinnati. Song about this, that band pretty much and what happened. Court colors at the bar. I got my going out jeans in the door. Struggling through the initial sentence Cause I ain't in the mood just yet yeah, yeah, yeah. uh. Set the sound, sing the blues I keep the dots done, got a little pop Get back low to the time is right Got in by for Thursday Where you been, where you been Tell you when I know you been The devil's driving you to sin for the world Ten by six plywood stay. Blind as this boy, you need to smile. But it's your fear, my child. Where you been? Where you been? Doubt you, women, and old men. The devil's driving.
song I wrote called uh, The Ramblin' Life. That's what I've been calling it. It's probably the newest one I've got. It's a culmination of stories that I've heard about different blues men. And I've read a lot of books about them. And so there's uh, lines in here about Muddy Waters. And R.L. Burnside's got a good chunk of this song. And uh, a guy named uh, T. Model Ford. Sam Chapman's in here. And the rest I just made up, I think. <laughs> Strict down at the church where they don't bother me now. A good Christian raisin, a taste for the thrill. I got a child in Louisiana, baby two in Mobile, baby two in Mobile. Yeah. 
It's a song that's on my last album. I've been trying to get another live album out, and it's been kind of tough because it's got cover tunes on it, and I got to get the rights for the cover tunes. You know, I always had trouble doing it. Uh, but this is from the last album that I put out about. It's been out about uh, two years or three years, I forget. But I've sold out of it completely. <laughs> I wish I had some copies left because. Uh, things like this, I, I really wish I had some copies, but you can still go online and uh, download it. it. The album's called the John Ford Blues Society, and uh, it's on my website, johnfordblues.com. Got this song on it. Uh, the song's called Don't Shoot Me Mama. It's uh, based off of, uh, I, I kind of got the idea from an old... Uh, Richard Pryor skit where he's locked out of the house. He's been out drinking and he's come home and his wife has locked him out of the house because he's been drinking, you know. And he's banging on the door, pleading, oh baby, I'll do anything, you know. And he, all he wants to do is get in the house. You know? He's promised her and everything. So it's based off that anyway. I know I've been gone two, three days. Now to see the fellas, you know. I'm setting my way. I told you that mom and dad because so good daddy let me come on in. Don't run. Things ain't free. Sorry about the money and the preacher on TV. Don't you be mom and dad. Because you're a good daddy. Let me come home. It's down there in jail. Nothing good to eat. I've been living my way. Bring me something sweet. Don't you be mom and dad.
au cinéma. A song called Abilene. There's two Abilenes. There's one in Kansas and one in Texas. I've never been to either one of those towns. <laughs> Seemed like a good title for a song. <laughs> yeah, I'll be. I'm getting there. I'll be there one of these days.
camera good. Did you bring any? No, I, I don't need to text anybody. I was just checking the time. I go to, okay, I go to a quarter till nine. All right, we got some time. All right. <laughs> just tell me when to stop. I'll go on there. That's all right. It's a song about my, my grandmother's chicken and dumpling recipe. She made the best chicken and dumplings I ever was. She lived in Lincoln County, Kentucky. We used to go down there in the summertime, and she'd fix, you know, she'd, Grandkids are coming, so fix the biggest meals there ever was. Mm, her name was Sibby Mason. Uh, we called her Mall Sibby. We, Mall Sibby, chicken and dumplings, Mall Sibby, chicken and dumplings, Mama Sibby, chicken and dumplings. Welcome home with us. We'll sit down for supper. Don't be shy. We got three kinds of beef and egg and put in the back. I'm so roasty. Tuck your string and bang. Fresh pork and dung in the dining like green. Pick a big feet on and out with a shed.
this is a song called Brer Rabbit Blues of that same album, the John Ford Blues Society. My mom used to read me these stories when I was a kid. And I still have the book, so uh, I wrote a song about it, and uh, I was reading somewhere. Uh, all these stories really, you know, I mean, they came from African folklore. I always do a little bit of this song. We'll do a little bit of a cover song before this. I used to play with uh, Timmy Goshorn, and uh, Timmy was in a band called Pure Prairie League back in the 70s. And uh, so we'd always do the song Amy, you know, and he'd always say, you sing it. I was like, why am I singing it? You're the one that was in the band. <laughs> He's like, I got a mental block. I got a mental block. I can't remember the lyrics. I'm like, yeah, right. So he would always make me sing it. But uh, So I do a little bit of this as a tribute to him. He passed away a couple years ago. If 
time right now, but I don't want to, I want, one or two. Two. What's that? Oh. Um, I'm playing over to the tap room right after this. <laughs> so I might have to wait to do that one over there. <laughs> Well, let's see. Man, I got so many songs I wanted to get to, but I guess I'm, I got to do this one. This one's. I'm playing at the tap room. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, I never, I never make a list, and I just kind of go off what feels right. And so many of these songs felt right tonight. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. yeah. This song's called I Don't Want to Fade Away. It's on the John Ford Blues Society album. Thunder 
five o'clock in the morning and I'm looking for a train to ride it's okay uh, man because I have to justify bringing this guitar that's why we <laughs> have to do one more uh -oh, uh -oh. this guitar is so out of the neck so bent I bought this guitar and thought I'd fix it up and I found out nobody reset the neck on this thing this is a 70s um, Gibson and they're notorious for just being hard to work on. This is a song called Fannie Lou Hamer. Uh, I, I learned about Fannie Lou Hamer a few years ago, and I've been writing a song for years, and I never could quite get it right, and I finally just did it. Um, uh, Fannie Lou Hamer was a civil rights activist, I guess, um, and uh, uh, man, there's so much to tell about this song, but uh, I go down to Mississippi and play every once in a while, and I'll go up Route Mississippi, I'll go up Route 49, and you pass all these iconic places, um, and Ruleville is one of them, that's where she's from, uh, tried to register to vote, I forget when it was, 1960, early 60s, you know. Tried to register to vote, and uh, they put him through so much, so much trouble that it was, and she lost her home and everything just trying to register to vote. And, and um, I, I, the song's called Fannie Lou Hamer, but um, I, I do in the chorus says uh, Mississippi appendectomy. Um, I won't explain exactly what that is, but um, Google that and see what that is. <laughs> it's. Uh, <laughs> Fanny Hamer. I will tell you what that is. Uh, Mississippi appendectomy is kind of a, a slang word for um, what they would do to people, what they would do to black people, poor, poor and black people um, in the South, like in, um, you know, 50s, 60s, I guess. Um, um, they went in the hospital, like Fannie Lou Hamer went in the hospital for um, a tumor on her ovaries, and then when she came out, uh, they had taken all her ovaries, and so that was kind of a common practice of, they thought they were doing the uh, poor people uh, uh, a service by, you know, they, by uh, sterilizing them, basically, um, yeah, and uh, so, you know, you would go into the hospital for a routine operation, you know, and you would come out and they'd be like, oh, by the way, we did this procedure and you can't have children anymore. This is the way, that what happened to her and she had no children at the time. So uh, she adopted two, two children, two girls uh, later on. But Well, we went to any know our names to sign. 
Our names to sign right across that line. We told the bus driver he had to pay that fine. Just the bus driver, you got to pay that fine. Mississippi ain't ready for that, ain't ready for that, ain't ready for that. Had to leave my home, had to leave that shack, had to leave that shack, ain't never go back. When my mind wasn't done to me, got my Mississippi appendix to me. When my mind wasn't done to me, got my Mississippi appendix to me. Got my Mississippi up and decked in the heat. Well, the highway patrol, this is what he said. This is what he said. This is what he said. Gonna make you wish, make you wish you was dead. Make you was dead, make you wish you was dead. Oh, yeah. Well, I heard them beatings and the black girl scream, and the black girl scream, and the black girl scream. Can you say yes, sir? I don't know. I don't know what you mean, I don't know what you mean, Lord. Well, they laid me down, tie my hands behind me, tie my hands behind me, tie my hands behind me. Thank you very much. so much.